What's up guys, Joey here for Ucotec and having software like Photoshop and Lightroom installed in your laptop is pretty useful especially when you want to do some creative stuff on your photo and when you're on the go. But sometimes carrying around a laptop can be a hassle. It's much more convenient to edit the photo right then and there on your smartphone. So today we've compiled some of the best photo editing apps for both Android and iOS. Starting with... RNI Films. If you're into the film look, then RNI Films is one of the best apps you can use. Using the app is pretty straightforward. After you import your photo, you'll have five filter categories. Vintage, Negative, Slide, Instant, and Black and White. After choosing the filter that suits your photo, you can tap the tool icons to adjust brightness, contrast, film strength, basically every tool you need. After that, you can save it straight to your camera roll or share it straight to Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter. If you want to try a little bit more filter options, you can buy film packs for 199 pesos per pack or you can unlock all the filters under Slide by just sharing it on your Facebook page. Number 2. PixArt if you're into creating more creative photos, doodling, and you love photo manipulation, PixArt is the app that you need. It has a lot of tools, I mean a lot of tools to use, and also PixArt has a community built inside the app. More like a Facebook, but instead of social memes in that sort, you can share your artwork and also do artworks inspired by other users. You can have the ad free plus additional tools for 159 pesos a month, or you can purchase a one-year subscription for 1,050 pesos. At number 3, we have Enlight by Photofox. Just like PixArt, Enlight is also helpful when doing more advanced edits. You get layer functionality, automatic edge detection, which is essential when erasing specific parts of your photo, built-in filters, add doodles, blending options, transform, and more. Do take note that not all the features are free. If you want more than 3 layers and extra tools when editing, you can opt for the paid subscription for 419 pesos a month or a one-time purchase of 3,490 pesos. It is expensive but the app is worth its price. Number 4, we have Fonto. If you need to create pub mats, posters, or any material that requires text, then Fonto is a great editing tool for you. It allows you to download fonts from the web for more customization, add shadows, and more. Though this app does have add-ons which will cost you 149 pesos for the ad-free version. Yeah, it does cost a little bit extra to unlock those features, but just for basic text editing, the free version is honestly just fine. At number 5, of course, we have Lightroom. One of the best editing apps for your mobile is Adobe Lightroom, just like its desktop version. You can manipulate colors in your photos, add and create your own preset. When you have an Adobe account, you can access photos and presets that you imported to Lightroom using another device. Also, if you find having 100 gigabytes of cloud storage and extra tools like SKU, Selective, and Healing Tools, then you can pay 249 pesos a month. Or if you just want to try those features out, you can try the one-week free trial. At number 6, we have VSCO. This is one of the most popular editing apps on this list. One feature that's helpful aside from the basic manual tools like exposure, contrast, and such is the selection of filters you can choose from. VSCO will suggest a filter that it thinks will suit your photo. You can copy and paste your edits from another photo, which is very helpful, especially when you have a theme on your Instagram feed. If you want to unlock hundreds more filters, you can pay about 65 pesos a month, which I think is a bargain considering the massive collection of filters you can get access to. And finally, at number 7, most people's go-to, we have Snapseed. Snapseed is developed by Google. It has over 29 tools and filters which include healing, brush, structure, HDR, perspective, and a lot more. Plus, you have the ability to edit raw photos, which I find especially useful when you have a camera that can directly send photos to your smartphone. It doesn't have any in-app purchases, which is excellent considering the massive selection of tools and filters it offers. So yeah, those are the best photo editing apps we can recommend for you guys to use for your photography adventures. If we missed anything, let us know in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed this video, please do drop a like, subscribe to our channel for more content, hit the bell icon to miss future uploads, and be sure to visit yougatech.com for the latest tech news and reviews. This has been Joey and stay hydrated.